Hello, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Uh, it's been a while, and you know, my hair is just out all different. But um, yeah, I I didn't quit. I didn't go on hiatus or anything. It's just a uh, busy busy work. So now I'm not going on another hiatus. Wasn't able to make any videos as lots of things were happening. But now I'm back. Or the ones don't be short or average length. I'm back. Let me write something down real quick. And what was the opinion right now? Everything I need to write down back was ah. oh, and was anniversary. There. It's been a while. But luckily, I still recognize where we left off before, and that is making laser tag or capture the flag. So, yeah, we're just still gathering wool. I got the broken controller. Hold on. Hello? Turn off the color. I don't know exactly how long it's been since I've uploaded a video. But, um, lots of things have been happening this month. All of them good. Some bad, but mostly good. That's now some free time. And can get back to working on this Minecraft house. My Minecraft house, the behemoth, all the names, which is like two names. My house and the behemoth. I need my YouTuber speech patterns back into work. So I can get interesting commentary out of doing the same three things and sharing the same five sheep.
It's on a Thursday on a nice, bright Michigan Thursday. Whew. It's perfect timing. All right, let's go check to see how much of the frame we got done. Still butterfly and jumping. That's something I forgot. I don't know how I managed to get that, though. Excuse me. I think I turned the music off because I was making a horror map and created the app. I'm making a whole lot less bearable. Let's see the houses do it because the Xbox One changed its layout. And that scared me because I thought of maybe. I mess up the save file. But no, it's stronger than I thought. Yeah. Still not even halfway done, but almost halfway done, though. Which, that's good. So last time, I think it was just shearing the sheep, another me, Onyx, uh, just a Onyx talk episode. Well, I just went back and forth shearing the sheep. Might have also been a diamond hunt, but why am I Alex? What about my skin? Oh, there's my skin. Well, he took my skin off. Check them out in the dress. No, I I want my character. Why is my why am I Alex? Did my character seem really take up that much space at sacrificing this to load up my... Okay, it doesn't matter. It will fix itself next time I log into the game. All right, but where are my shears? The fact that I don't have my shears on me makes me think that last episode was a diamond hunt episode. Let me check my YouTube account to see what it is. Please don't be demonetized. That's my old channel, a cringe gaming. Part thirty-three. It was a diamond hunt. How long ago did I stop? Three weeks ago. 
That was three weeks ago. I thought maybe it was like one week. Okay. Well, in that case, yeah, I did not leave. That was not a hiatus. I was, I still want to make YouTube videos. I just don't have time. Wow. Okay. Three weeks. I just want to just check earlier today and it was like two weeks ago. Okay. What is our is my diamond count currently at? Okay, almost. Almost at a stack of diamond blocks. Don't remember how far we went out though. So gonna have to check my YouTube video for that. I remember it being pretty good. And I accidentally died. And got frustrated. And the fact that I was able to be frustrated from actually dying shows how good of a diamond hunt it actually was. For me to actually care about being sent back. But that, that might have also been because we went really, really far out in, into the world. So let's grab our shears. That's a lot of bread. There's one shear. Garbage chest. Okay, chest, and okay, we only have one shear. I think I probably craft some more with the iron. Let's get four shears and let's break all of these. And Actually, thinking of another way we can go about shearing the wool. So I fill up all the chests, but so the color we're currently working on is red, right? Yeah, that's our main color. Because they have the most sheep. Actually, no, that might take that. That might actually be longer than doing it normally. Here's our stop. See if I still got it. Oh yeah, the, the, the wool races. Like I did like an erasing announcer voice for sharing the wool. I love doing that. I wonder if I still got it. Right is off to a pretty good start today with half a almost half a stack. From our first trip to their farm. There might have been a norm back when I was, you know, mainly like back before I was whatever. That is still a shock to see currently. With the red now having a good 35 around its neck. Now heading to the yellow arena. If I remember correctly, the yellows were always not doing too good. Though they might have swapped places with blue. I'm not just I'm just not remembering. But from yellow's first trip of the comeback race, it is only 17. A sad to see 17. Yikes, that's not good. And up to green, our second place champion from its first dive back into the ring. They come up with a OK 20. Oh, nope. They're getting some extra. Did I call it extra credit? I think I called it extra credit before when uh, they would chow down and throw their wool back right after I left.
Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, definitely. That's now like 31. See that they're living up to red standards. Visiting the pesky blue sheep. But their countless escape attempts. It's like everybody in the ring is thrown up right now. And from there, they're actually pretty decent, doing way better than yellow with 29 so far. And at the moment, I inventory, they're able to jump back even further with what appears to be a number that is beating red's number with a 37. That's impressive. That's definitely impressive for them. Nope. Okay. Do I have any wheat with me? Right. Dang it. Go back to your parents, please. So what I was doing during my break is uh my family's gonna there, there's a lot of important stuff happening. As well as me uh doing stuff for the show. The the cartoon that I make wanna make my bro. What could go wrong? Uh, I was focusing on coming up with some reference ideas, which was, was a mistake. Definitely a mistake, because I remember that I wanted to focus on season one since we got done with like the season one like roadmap. But uh, whenever I get you know, bored sometimes, I feel like uh, working on the season two roadmap, which I'm, I'm keeping track of like all of, like the store arcs at once. But it's not really a mistake, most of it is just a uh, Stressful to get done right. But uh, my birthday is soon. And uh, I'm getting an animation tap for my birthday. Which is going to put us ahead of schedule. It's originally we're waiting on for my friends to get the first animation tablet. We start making the first episode, which I bet is going to take like eight months or something. I've all I've uh, pre I've prepared all my friends to know that season one is going to take like five years. It's the first season. We can't really expect it to you know, just zip past like how scripting is or demo scripting. But it will it will go faster when it's like we're there in progress. And it's going to go faster than like a normal like YouTube animation thing as we specifically designed the animation to be easy on us. We're still looking good with that advanced stick figure style that uh I think I've brought up many times by now, but yeah, it's exciting. I guess I'm a little bit carried away. Also also some family matters. And so hanging out with Trevor because it's almost my birthday. about that and it's just uh this wasn't a uh, meeting my priority list subconsciously i thought that's like meant to be an insult or anything so you guys might be because i'm just focusing on like my other viewers for a little bit i don't they're gonna be watching the cartoon that's Pog. Did they change the shears durability or something? Did this shear is almost down and I haven't been even oh it's been 19 minutes. Well no, because I, I went that shears go get the taco. This, this shear is going down like crazy fast. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe because it's I've been adding uh more sheep like every time to make this go faster. I'm gonna get red a pass and will I go to eat some of my tacos?
That's a pretty good combo from Red. Oh, I know they're they're still going. They are still going. Pedal on the metal, or I guess you could say hoof on the metal. Hoof? Wait, is it is it hoof or paw for sheep? I think it's hoof. All farm all farm animals have hooves except for dogs and pigs and chickens. It's actually just cows and horses and and sheep. Just sad. Yeah, but it already has. Give us the second page right now. That's different. And what are all of them doing? The yeah, writers definitely still in the lead by far. And there's our first shear, which that was really fast. That went by really fast. It's good to be back. But I need to get back and play normal man of days. That's good. Oh, wait, no. Okay, one more. Keep going in and out. Yeah, now that should be good. Yep. There. Blue is doing good. Oh, yeah, Villa definitely wasn't in second place. I just then do the other two uh, categories, blue and green. And once we finish red, I'm going to be able to have, like, I'm going to be able to have so many sheep to spread around other farms once we finish the red corner. But the game can handle so many more animals than I thought. Not the bamboo farm is finished. We can definitely we, we can probably start worrying about the supports on laser tag whenever we get bored of sharing the sheep. Yeah, that, that's like, that sounds like a good idea. Because so the the gap between these things, and, and this is probably the highest room yet. Besides the ceiling for the world of games, reports are definitely going to be a problem for this thing. I'm not going to do supports for the bridge. So if you're like that, could realistically stand up on its own. It has both the supports from the house and the supports from Laser Pack keeping it up. There could probably be like some sort of like rope bridge equivalent. I know like rope bridges can't like turn like that, but it looks like it can stand up on its own. 
which in the real world, that probably would collapse. But as long as it looks like it would support it. So within the fictional world of Minecraft, I'm fine with it. What type of wood would I want? For dark oak. Dark oak or crimson? Maybe warp. Yeah, I'll do I'll do crimson. I think I'm gonna need to go back to clearing out all the moss from the nether trees, the nether tree farm. Scooch. So the FNAF Security Breach DLC came out. Dude, I love it. It is, I think, one of the best games of all time. And I don't know if, I, if I've if i said this before, but um, yeah. I thought it was going to suck too, but no. I think that people have learned their lesson in sending game developers death threats every two hours because the game kept getting delayed. And the fact that Ruin was so good it really makes me like, way more angry about what happened with security breach it's like what if we just gave them the time they needed we didn't rush them probably one of the best games of all time i'm hoping uh the fnaf movie turns out good we're, we're gonna go see that when it comes out dude i don't know that's good it looks good from the trailer so far like, at least like from five seconds i've seen the trailers and unskippable like not skippable you that i've been I, I usually avoid trailers for movies that i want to see because nowadays trailers like they show too much yeah from what i've seen of the ads i've gotten it looks good I almost got to red. Oh, it's about this area. I would take one, two, three, five, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five more, four stacks. And that's the right corner done. There's that. I would be playing music for my phone right now, but uh, it's dead. 
Yeah, I gotta use this phone charger to make my third controller work. Okay. I thought I heard the gate open before, but now that was uh, another noise. Right now we got red in first place, obviously we got green in second, blue in third, and yellow in last as usual. With the second sheer almost down, what is happening? Okay, I gotta be missing this uh one of my brain. This sworn shears lasted longer. I don't see why they would have changed that. Yeah, and there is red. That is red done. So we probably get some extra stacks but we to finish the other. Other sheep full of treatment. Round to yellow. Our everybody's lovable favorite last place bakery. Let's barely finish their square. Or uh, that stack. They didn't finish their square yet. That's my first. He's not dead. He's not. Ooh. 
¿Eh? Okay, I'm at 2%. But I died already because it went on. Alex is going. He's going to be able to show up. So this is, this might be a shorter episode. Yeah, but he's going. Taco show. Exciting. Anyway, to see him. Oh, I'm running out of food in Minecraft. So we can finish this for a star. It seems like the green is going to finish next. But I'm betting it. I'm going to bet either green wins next or something crazy happens and yellow ends up being second place. Like he did that one time. The only time will tell. That's one pretty decent. Yeah, it could be yeah. Green, green or blue is winning next. No way that's gonna be yellow. And now I am starving, which means I won't be able to run from room to room so quickly. Back to red. We just got one extra stack from red. We get three more, then that takes another number of squares we need to finish the red corner. Hopefully red is doing good right now. And like the two baby reds have grown up. That's a big help. Every bit counts. What was that? A stack and sixty one. Wow. All right. So yeah, that 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 was just from that. It, that I think that is the most he's ever given me at one time.
out back yellow right before they get absolutely destroyed by green. I think I was speaking about the FNAF DLC before. It seems like they're giving each character their own, like, child now. So instead of being possessed, it's like they're just emotionally linked to one child. Because Freddy has Gregory. Roxy has Cassie. So I think what they're doing is doing the whole like child robot linked together in some way and I think Lamrock Bonnie is going to be their new Golden Freddy or the child that has Lamrock Bonnie as like a guardian or protector is this mysterious fifth child almost that that's what I'm predicting Honestly, I really wish that they didn't go with the route of having Monty kill Bonnie. I wish if they would have gone with the route that. Hey, Skyler. Okay. okay. That might have been Onyx. Um. I wish I would have gone with the route of Bazaar Entertainment phasing out Bonnie with all of the bad reputation that the Bunny Rabbit character had. It was the suit that Willie Mapton wore while killing the kids. It's the suit where like the Springlock failure happened. Um I have more examples on um, off the top of my head. Uh, Dang it, there, there's more examples. Well, it's uh what William Afton uh appeared as in Help Wanted. And um it's the Yeah, so there's just there, there there's a lot of like reputation around. It. Bonnie, whether it's just Bonnie or the whatever Bonnie Rabbit character they currently have. Spring Bonnie. And from the books, you know that um there's still a lot of reputation around the bunnies of uh, the pizza packs because uh, there is a group of people on the internet and like in uh, that talk about the bunny rabbit killings, but now they're labeled as conspiracy theorists because Fazer for Entertainment has covered it up. But the people who know the well, the conspiracy theorists are also well known. So even though that people who know about uh, William Afton wrestling in the yellow bunny rabbit suit and killing the kids are uh, considered crazy. The rumor is still well known. It's just the people who believe in it. So I thought what they were doing is that um they were trying to phase out Bonnie and um 
replaced him with Monty. Bonnie was like, no. And then Monty killed Bonnie. Or uh, Bad Entertainment told Monty to go kill Bonnie to cover it up and then just remove anything about Bonnie at all to phase out the bunny because uh, the bunny was linked to the murders. We're just having Monty kill Bonnie out of jealousy. That's, that's stupid. I, I, I kind of hate that. But maybe it will turn out that uh, they did tell Monty to go kill Bonnie. So that, that took a moment for me to think about. I was trying to list more moments because I thought there were more moments, but uh, no, it was not. Oh, green. Green is done. Blue is close to done. We almost have another stack of red, which then I really speeches up. Something I'm confused about, though, is what was the purpose of the DLC? The purpose of the DLC was to save Gregory, but Gregory wasn't down there. It was the Mimic, which is from the books. Why is the Mimic so important? And who is Cassie? Like, what was the point? Did nothing got done besides getting Cassie into the pizza plex? And maybe maybe that'll be important, but like where are they going from here? That that's a question that I don't see like too many people. Like, how 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 are they gonna make more games? Is every single game just gonna be a huge pizza themed entertainment center from now on? How how are they gonna make more games off of this? Because I thought they they wanted to keep the pizza plus for future games. Have it be different versions of the pizza plex. Have it be like an aquatic water park pizza plex, a theme park, a circuit. But no, it was just the pizza plex. And I mean, it, it, they, they just killed off the pizza plex. I, I wanted to see that place more. I, I wanted to see more of it. And we know there were several locations cut from the pizza plex in the game, like Chica's like, water show. That was supposed to be a thing. I, I bet that was supposed to be like her boss or something. You know, the only boss battles we have are um Monty and the DJ Music Man and then Burn Trap, if you can even count that. Only only three. The, the, the go card, the, the Roxy's Raceway it was so close to finish. I thought, like, I don't know anything about coding, but I thought they gave it two more days. The, 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 the Tetra Pit episode showed me that the go card was so close to done. Like, two more days, two more days of work on that end, it would have been done. I, I, I bet, I bet my soul on that fact. Ooh, ooh, we are we are getting close to starting work on the blue corner and yellow. Dude. Okay, yeah, we are. We're we're, we're still done. We are just two, two stacks away from uh starting to fill in the other two corners. Yeah, we we are we are we are still done. Well, I mean not completely, but start to. Just one more stack of yellow and one more stack of blue, and we're good to go bring all that stuff upstairs.
if you want, um, so I think I've mentioned a couple of times that uh, me and my cousin Alex played security breach outside with me, with us like, making our own version of it that uh, was remote, like what we consider to be better than the actual game. With the same location, we added locations in that were supposed to be in the game and weren't. And uh, he enjoyed it. He enjoyed it way better than the normal security breach because he, he watched somebody else play that. I think he told me. Uh, I have the journal here with the papers that uh, we used to keep track of our progress whenever uh, we had to go in. Yeah, I am. I, I like my version of security breach better, but Ruin. Ruin was on the same level as mine. I'm I when okay, actually that sounds kind of narcissistic, but I mean I if Secure Reach came out the way that I Okay. I like Ruin as much as I like the version of Security Breach you know, pick outside. That that is a non narcissistic way of phrasing that. I added a bunch of like smaller details in. He didn't one hundred percent it, so there was things I didn't get to show him, like there's some emails that I thought were pretty funny or interesting that he never found. But um, so we added in like that backstage area, the adults only bar, uh, and the game files. Uh, what was the other location? Oh yeah, um, the Sun and Moon Drop boss fight. Uh, we we actually used Chica's like buffet place. In the storyline. So, uh, when I was watching like videos that said like what might have gone wrong, um, but they, uh, people were saying like the creator, like the people that were working on Security Breach, just kind of think of like a story to get you to go everywhere. First thing I did, Gregory, this one, this one's playing on the back. Okay, yeah. Make everything Thank you, Skyler. It's a breeze, baby. Welcome. Um, the, the back to the uh, security breach. Like, and if you're wondering what you mean by play it outside, like, I, we pretended, you know, he like just envisioned the, the rooms. I, I described the shrines to him so like he could be like a map in himself. I'd be the animatronic that chases him, or I'd be Freddy when he, it's like a stealth section. I'd actually pick him up on my shoulders when I was a uh, Freddy and like he's him going inside the suit. But uh why so the first issue I see people saying is why did don't doesn't Gregory just hide in the room with Freddy until 6 a.m. And honestly, I don't know how they didn't think of doing something like this. Don't have it be you get stuck in there while it's closing for one day. Have it be he's going to be locked in there for like weeks. And why? Well, let's say Gregory was at a birthday party in Freddy Fraser's Pizza and Banny hacks the place Then things start going wild and Gregory ends up hiding inside of Freddy while Freddy's collapsed. And when Gregor finally gets out of Freddy, the pizza plex has already been closed and isn't going to open for five weeks until Fazer Entertainment finds out 
who's hacking the place and what's going on. So don't have to be, so that solves the issue of Gregory just being able to wait in Freddy's room. It's, Gregory is going to be stuck in there for like five months or something. I said five weeks, five months. Probably going to starve because there's going to be no shipments of food. And that explains why it's better to go instead of wait. That fixes the issue. Have it be the pizza place is closing for a long time. And it just have to be randomly. Have it be because of Vanny to make Vanny like a more prominent figure in the game. And Vanny is always there in the auditorium. So, you know, people actually get to see her. But yeah, there. That fixes that issue. And now this issue of why is Gregory going to the places that he's going to? I made it so that each entertainment part of the Pizzaplex has like a futuristic Pizzaplex, I forgot what I call it, but like generator. And those like futuristic generators are the things that are being hacked to cause the Pizzaplex to act this way. So have Gregory take Freddy, and yes, it's Gregory take Freddy. Gregory take Freddy to every single closet in the pizza flex to fix these generators to fix big chunks of the pizza flex at a time so in the pizza plex is a virus protocol let's Gregory out and as for the boss fights um it's not that Gregory is trying to kill the animatronics that the animatronics get in his way and it ends up and, like, have the boss fights not be planned. Like, don't have Gregory trick Monty into going on the catwalks. Have it be, like, accidental. Like, Gregory just needs... Like, the bosses make Gregory do it. Don't have it be, like, Gregory's doing this on purpose. So he's just taking the upgrades because it's just something that happened. Monty tried to kill him. He had no choice. Going to take his claws... To protect myself from sleeper robots and also because I'm in mean, like, yeah, I'm a child, Monty tried to kill me, I'm angry. Which I think that's how they did do it in the game, but uh didn't really seem like it. And so give each plaza a climax. You just go to a bonny bowl and then you leave. That that's not even a level. Make each plaza its own level. And I bet that's what they wanted to do. But they just didn't have time to do it. But yeah, it starts off with Gregory actually at the concert. It's like a tutorial almost. And Freddy's room, Penny stays the same, the intro to the game. And then you get to like the mini mall section. You go into the auditorium, and from there, you can choose which place you want to go first. So like, mainly stays the same as you get to the auditorium, where then you are able to you are able to choose from um, L chips, or to do the auditorium itself, the vent. And I also think I had backstage as an option. So that's way open world, and each one leads to its own thing. There's explanations for why not all of them are open, and it's because um, it's just like what the Pizzaplex considers to be an entertainment center and what the and what it considers to be a part of the auditorium. Since El Chips is a food restaurant, there's no like bars down on it because it's just an extension of the auditorium. The stage, an extension of the auditorium. So everything in the Pizzaplex's code is in fact closed off. It's just there's some coding loopholes that don't allow everything to be closed off. And the auditorium and the code is split into four. Which that explains why certain entertainment centers open after doing certain parts. So 
So if you go to El Chips, you're able to get into the normal arcade. Which then, the normal arcade leads to the prize counter. And that's that part of the game done. Those three levels are a single uh, campaign, I guess you could call it. Out chips is easy. You just go behind the counter into the generator. That's the joke. And it opens up the uh, Fastcade. Fastcade, I made way bigger, way bigger of a stealth section. Uh, then you do the little uh, FNAF 1 office section, which I figured the fast case. Just make the stealth section a little bit longer, and it's cool. And you get the prize counter, which I made it the prize counter its own chapter, where all the toys come to life, and you have to organize them back on the shelves in order to... So no, when you restart a generator, you have to test all the equipment after to explain why Gregory gets to use, like has to use the entertainment center. Because it needs it needs like an employee to retest all the things to make sure the place was rebooted correctly. Out chips doesn't need to get rebooted because it's just that simple. Fastcade. Um it reboots, but then you just need to work your way back with all the uh, animatronics around. And eventually you get interrupted and Gray tells you to go into the office and you do that. You level up and then you go to the prize counter. When you reset the prize counter, all the toys hop off the shelves and it's like, oh no, retest organizing shoots. Or like you put all the toys into like these laundry shoots and it, it it's the future, so like, those, I imagine those being things where like the employees just put the toys on there and they don't have to like stop the shelves. So you have to do that because uh, the toys come to life after you reboot it, so it doesn't accept the price corner as rebooted until you do all that. It's fun. And then Vanessa takes you to lost and found. And that, that's that campaign campaign done. A short one. After that. You either get to go to the food court, which is literally in the auditorium. Backstage. Uh, the backstage level. Um. Oh, and after you do uh the L chip campaign, you get to go to Gator Golf. But we'll get to the secondary campaigns after. Backstage is just one big level where you use Freddy to dodge. Um. The little uh, like security bots will go up the stage to restart the stage. After we restart the stage, the only machine that you need to test is the curtains. So then, this little like mini boss fight with Banny as you try to test the curtain mechanism, it works. Stage rebooted, and now you have access to Bonnie Bull. Very short. And then you also have access to the Super Starcade. But you need a VIP pass because it's just like a better version of pass game. We are so close to getting the first blue chest and first yellow chest done. We just need one more shear. So I'll get those. But uh, the, the, the backstage is pretty lengthy because like the the, the, the dark room is huge. It's so tall. So you have to go by like a bunch of broken catwalks and all that. But after that, the only campaign left is the food court, which you can do in any order. It's just the last one for me to explain the food court. So the reason, so when you go to reboot the auditorium itself, it just happens the generator is in the food court, which happens to the food court, you are ambushed by Van and you get pushed down to the loading docks. So the food court is just like another joke level. And it's mainly the same. And after the loading docks, you get caught by Vanessa. And you don't you don't need to test anything for the uh loading docks, you just need to get in and get out. And after you're done with food courts, you get to go to Badger Blast. So 
that's like the first part of the game. Which really it's mostly the same. Just the story makes a little bit more sense. And I also did like I went into more detail with some things. But after you unlock these places, oh no, Gregory isn't high enough level to enter any of them. So then you do the office that's in Rockstar Row. And then you are high enough level to enter either Gator Gold, Bazaar Blast, or what was the other place? Oh yeah, the Superstar Cave, but no, you're not high enough level to do that. Bazaar Blast, I made it a... You actually play with the other animatronics. And all that, so just like a... Bazaar Blast is a little bit more fun. And it's more of like a mini boss. Oh, shoot, I forgot. The daycare. Yeah, it's mini mall section, the daycare, then the auditorium. That's mainly the same. Yeah, uh, Bazaar Blast is just a little um mini boss and this is yeah freddy you can take freddy in there that's cheating that's that's still a thing until eventually um freddy's code kind of uh i made freddy not going with you an actual like thing that matters because then eventually when uh okay what happens is it's the normal fast blast sequence, but then it gets sabotaged. You reboot it, and now that you've rebooted it, you need to do faster blast again. But now that it's working properly, it senses that Gregory is all alone. So it's like, don't worry, Gregory, cheer up. All the animatronics or all, all Freddy's friends will come and play with you. So now you need to beat Bowser Blast again, but with Monty, Chica, Roxy, and now Freddy, because of the Bowser Blast code kind of like overrides him to battle him, and then you win, you get the super uh, gold Bowser Blaster. Where I got that idea from is that's what I thought was going to happen the first time I played the game. But yeah, you don't unlock any other places after Bowser Blast, so that's like the end of uh, a campaign in the Supreme Reach. And next up is Gator Golf. Gator Golf takes you to the stage play arena, which I made it way bigger because it's just a small room. You go in and go out. I made the theater a full on level. Uh, like there's a bunch of different scenes you go to. And you need to open like a bunch of gift boxes. So basically, it's like a search for key card. You go to all these cool set designs, you climb up ladders to get to like a set design that's like hanging. And you make sure that the endos will knock you off. And you need to find the present that has the actual um like key in it. And maser size is the same. You can't really like expand maser size. And then you're able to reach the Gator Golf thing and restart Gator Golf. You also restart the theater and major size. Oh, I think I did it that when you restart the major size generator, it needs to test the maze again. And that explains why it's already scrambled. And you restart Gator Golf. And the only thing it needs you to test is the bucket, which then during the boss fight, you accidentally crush Monty with the bucket, as you just need to get the bucket to work to decrypt the pizza effects. So then you get Monty's claws. I feel like I'm forgetting some parts that I did. Oh, yeah, like parts and service. Dang it, no, I forgot. I made accessing parts and service part of the loading docks. 
Vanessa gets bambushed by by an endo, and you get tracked to Parks and Servants, which then you need to go to Endo Valley, which is the endo daycare. And there's this cool chase scene where after you get the key card so that you're high enough level to go save Freddy from Parks and Service, um, a bunch of endos start falling out the ceiling, and you can find an email that says they store extra, extra endos above the white ceiling tiles, like the type you'd see in a school, just because they run out of space in the endo warehouse. Okay. Uh, quick note: we filled the first blue chest and the first um yellow chest, which means now we get to go fill in uh fill, fill in all the stuff, fill in the the corners and um laser tag, which that's exciting, isn't it? Making a lot of progress right now. So doing this, we're halfway done. After we place all this stuff down, we're halfway done with laser tag. I thought it would have taken way longer, honestly. But yeah, um, I'm not sorry if I don't sound too excited. I'm more focused on uh, talking about Secure Breach right now, which is kind of ruining a uh, moment, but just, just want to get this out there. But yeah, I'm, ex I'm pumped. I just can't express it right now. I'm all awkward. I haven't done the video ever. Um, so where was I now? Okay, Monty boss fight. After the Monty boss fight, you gain access to uh, Chica's diner. Which after you re <coughs> after you start the generator there, it needs you to test out uh Chica's uh Chica's feeding frenzy. Which, what that is, it is a event that can happen at Chica's Diner, where it's basically like a stage show. But what it does is a, uh, it has all the occupants in Chica's Diner make Chica uh whatever dish she requests for as Chica's Diner you know, eats a lot. But since Gregory's all alone, he has to use the cooking bots in order to feed Chica all these dishes. Where Vanessa tries to stop Gregory. Because um, Chica doesn't have like her feeding beak on, which they equip her with a special beak whenever they want to run these shows. Like the food doesn't like all the food doesn't like clog up her systems and whatever. But uh, nah, Gregory just wants to leave the pizza plex and you know not die. So you have to dodge Vanessa on all these parts. And that's when you break off um. Chica's beat. And that's the end of the Gator Golf campaign. And now off of back of stage, the, the, the back, I'll oh, screw off. After back of uh, the, the backstage area, you unlock Bonnie Bowl, which you get the food stuff that goes to the loading docks. But then you need to test the bowling alleys, which as you're bowling, the endos crawl out and all that. After you do that, you can do the sewers. And then you get Chica's beak. And now that you're a high enough level after going through like everywhere else in the, in the pizza box, you go to Roxy Raceway, you get the robot head, go to the Superstar Cave after finding the Superstar Cave pass in Roxy Raceway. Do the DJ Music Man boss fight. Head back to Roxy Raceway, do the Roxy Raceway boss fight. 
and get Roxy's eyes. Or it turns out since Roxy is the fan favorite in her coat, like with her eyes and with like some of her like, you know, Freddy now has access to more parts of the piece of text, like knowledge about these parts that Freddy didn't know about before since Roxy's a fan favorite and gets to go to these places. Or you can either choose to go to a detention center in the daycare or an adults only bar. The adults only bar is just another one of those office sections. But the reason Roxy is uh, allowed in there is because uh, Roxy is a fan favorite with adults. You know, just, just a little bit of a joke there. And then the detention center is like this big jail area where our naughty kids go in the pizza plex. And you can find a bunch of emails about this place beforehand where like kids will go missing. And it turns out it's just because employees forgot kids there overnight or like for weeks, like kids starved in there. And this is where uh, you're able to have a boss fight with Sun and Moon and then they turn into Eclipse, which I'm glad to see Eclipse just finally like brought in in the room because I really want to see that guy. Kind of sucks that Eclipse is just the sun face with the moon side. I thought it would have been like a new color scheme and everything, but still nice to see what he was. I thought Eclipse would have been really mean because I made it in this game that uh, Eclipse is some is a uh, personality used to punish children. But since Moon is already like accidentally that mean, just trying to get the kids to go to sleep, Eclipse is really mean, trying to teach the kids to not ruin the pizza plex. But afterwards, um, Freddy, on Freddy's updated pizza plex map, he finds a generator that is generating a place that isn't even a venue. That's where I was looking for venue in the pizza plex, which that's what leads Freddy to finally figure out that there's some place below Roxy Raceway. And it's the Faz Museum. A museum that they were building underneath the pizza plex to show off all the previous locations and basically tell customers history about Fazbear Entertainment but being able to change all the bad parts. But the only reason they're making this museum is another attempt at clearing their name. So you go down there, you go to the past museum, there's a bunch of lies about like their past. And eventually you figure out that they're bringing, like they're, they're just picking up the restaurants and bring them underneath. You access the FNAF one location, which we have a boss fight with Corrupted Freddy and Vanny. And you go to Fredbear's Diner where you do the boss fight with um William Afton. No, you go to the FNAF 6 location where it's, uh you have to, like, it's the mini music mans, and they're going in and out at the FNAF 6 fence, which, from gameplay, that's what I thought they did, but then it turns out it's just uh, the mini music mans and Bonnie Bowl. But yeah, you have to crush all the tiny music mans using the FNAF 6 fence system. And then you go to Fredbear's Diner, you do the boss fight with William Afton, Freddy's uncorrupted Versace from a fire that started down there. And then you fight the blob in like already deep down place and Freddy takes you out of the pizza plex. One last stop where um you save the pizza plex from crumbling down and then you get to leave, everything's all good. Freddy's gonna repair his friends. Vanessa's gonna repair Freddy's friends. Everything's gonna be a okay. And then that's that's my version. God, I wish the game. Turn out like some something like that. I have a taco shell in my throat. Oh my god, I've been talking for an hour.
Yeah. I know I got kind of like carried away talking about that, but I just want to revisit those memories because that, that was a good time. It was a really good time. <laughs> I want to to go back and forth between floor five and floor twelve a lot. Uh, I think I said something earlier about like laser tag being the highest up place. I thought laser tag was up there for a second while I was speaking, but uh, I I remember it's I remember the correct placement. I just didn't want to interrupt myself a thousand times. Not an act to reality for a second, not the past. We managed to now shear half of the wool needed for laser tag. We have, we have officially sheared half of the wool. That is insane. Only being done in like two months. I would have expected like maybe two, like maybe October or something. But not we got we, we got to this point two months in maybe not even yeah looks like it doesn't take October to get this half done that might actually be when we finish the floor if I don't do that okay since I'm already back down here I might as well go and Refill my inventory on wool real quick. Ooh, onto here. Your Honor, I didn't even realize. I'm here. Are you good? Guess what? What? Did you finish all that? No, but oh. guess what? I have now officially sheared half the wool needed for um the um uh laser tag arena. Did you fill? Oh, you collect these too? Oh. Yeah. I asked for a 67, that's only 31 now. Wait, what? I asked for a 67. But yeah, it's been a while since I made a YouTube video. Oh, you're recording right now? Yeah. Look, so I have just finished filling up the first blue chest and the first yellow chest with full. I think you also fill, for, uh, fill the first red chest. I know, first, yeah, I've also done the first red and green chest. Now, now that just leaves one more chest full of, full of each color of wool. So I've narrowed down four out of eight chests, which now officially means I'm halfway done with the laser arena. I would have thought that yeah. finishing the laser arena would have taken like the rest of the year or something, but I'm already halfway done today. <laughs> now I just need to place down the first chest. We're not halfway done. You're like one-fourth of the way done. Hey. No. 
Pity Pot does it. Also, make all the pillars. All I'm that. Talking about, I'm talking about just like the floor itself. So. Oh, okay. I'm going to go eat my food. I food. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. All right. I'm okay. good. Uh, yeah, I haven't finished your chocolate yet. No. Eat the chocolate. 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 Eat the chocolate.